Tis that time of the year where we all head out and uh, start to really get serious about shopping for the holidays. Welcome to the Travel Michigan Show. I'm Dave Lorenz along with Michelle Benash. And Michelle, where are we headed to to kind of consider about shopping for the holidays? We are headed to Holland, Michigan, uh, which is where we did our family girls shopping, Christmas shopping weekend last year. And it was fantastic. So um, we are going to talk with Wendy Link, who is the sales director at the Holland Convention and Visitors Bureau. And so we're getting into the season. Um, I mentioned it's getting into the season of eating, but it's also getting mm. into a the season of shopping. And Holland, um, known as a beach town and all of that, but it's also got some really fabulous shopping downtown. Absolutely, it does. There's there's over 100 shops and galleries and restaurants right in a small three-block walking area downtown. And all but just a handful are locally owned So it's a really fun place to do some shopping, to do some holiday shopping, because you're going to go in shops and see things you don't see everywhere else or in every other town. They're all very unique. And, of course, our sidewalks and streets downtown are all heated, so there's um, the snow melt system, so you don't ever have to worry about the snow or the ice or any of that coming during the holidays. That is that is a pretty cool feature that uh, you know those streets and sidewalks all all melt the snow away, That's especially right. you know for an outdoor indoor type uh, shopping environment. That's a really handy thing. What's that store that that like like features all those wonderful clocks that's right downtown? Oh yeah, Tierman. Oh, that's really cool. The Howard Miller clocks. There's so many unique shops. The Bridge is another one that's run by the Seminary, and they feature all these third world country crafts and and things like that that give you really unique gifts. All of the shops downtown, really, because they are locally owned, have different things to choose, great places to get gifts. And we've got one event before the actual true Dutch Winterfest starts that they're just doing this year for the first time called Shop Till You Drop. Mm -hmm. And it's on November 15th in the evening, and they're going to have all kinds of sales and special events going on in the shop, so that'll get you in the in the mood. Thanksgiving comes a little late this year, so you don't have quite as much holiday shopping time between Thanksgiving and Christmas, so Holland's trying to kick it off just a little bit early so we have time to get all those gifts. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Uh, that that's correct. Might as well get a little shopping done early on. When does the uh, European uh, Cursed Kindle Market, is that right? Uh, it, when does we that call start? it a Cursed Market. It's an cursed open-air market. European market, so all of the booths decorated and outside like you would find over in Europe during the holidays. And that starts actually with our Parade of Lights, which is a huge parade everything in it must be lit including semis and people and cars and floats and that's on um well that's tuesday december 3rd i'm sorry the curse market actually starts before that Mm. november 29th okay and so that will go on weekends on fridays and saturdays and sundays and also for special events like the holiday open house which kicks off dutch winterfest on november 23rd and then you've got strolling carolers and chestnuts roasting on the streets and all the stores with special events and snacks and goodies to get you in the holiday spirit. And then the curse market will run every weekend through the 14th. And that market, that's an open-air market. It's it's down, uh, is it on 8th Street? It is on 8th Street, right downtown, about a block down the hill from the main shopping area where our farmer's market is held throughout the year. So many people are familiar with that. It's a big farmer's market. And you will still have a few farmers there. You'll have some Christmas trees and wreaths and greenery and that sort of thing that goes with the holidays. But you'll also have all kinds of very unique gift items that you can shop for in the booths. And there's a warming tent and some of the Dutch foods and snacks. You can get a hot pig in a blanket while you're shopping. And that's one of the things Holland has during Dutch Winterfest. It's, we have the traditional Santa comes and the lit up parade and those types of things, but we also try to concentrate a little bit on the Dutch traditions. So we have Sinterklaas arrives on Friday, December 6th, which is actually Sinterklaas Eve in the Netherlands, and that's the Dutch Santa, the tall, regal, dressed like a bishop 
Sinterklaas who arrives in town in the Netherlands and all the towns on a white horse and is welcomed by the local dignitaries. And that happens here. Sinterklaas will come right into 8th Street on his horse with all his little mischievous sort of Pete helpers. And he'll be welcomed by the mayor and everybody can go up and meet with him and take pictures and talk to him. So we, with the open air market and Sinterklaas Eve and some of those things, we try to interject a little of the Dutch tradition. And you know, the thing I love about it is it's all very walkable. Last year when I was there, I parked down by the um, the cursed mark, and mm-hmm. we just made our way up Main Street and to all the shops. And when we got to the end, we had a great meal, and then we came back. And I never, I didn't have to get in my car and drive from place to place. It just was all right there, very right. easy. It was a, a very enjoy, enjoyable afternoon. Yeah, there's just. You know, about three blocks of walking, and you can go to the museum and the curse market and all of the shops and lots of great restaurants and places to eat, too. So, And then again, like I said, the, the sidewalks are all heated in the street, so it's easy walking as well. Of course, there seems like there's a, a coffee shop in every corner well, in, yeah. in Holland as well, so there's <laughs> always that opportunity to uh, sit and, and relax uh, and kind of cool off from your shopping fever. Right, um, and and just like all the shops, those are not your chain coffee shops. Yeah. They're little local nooks and, you know, that you can sit in and enjoy your coffee. And let's not forget New Holland Brewing Company ah, for yes. the gentlemen who may not want to shop all day. It's a great place for them to It is. Gather. Watch a game, try some great local brews. There's a new uh, microbrewery in town, too, called Our Brewing Company right there in the same block, so you can try a few different local brews if you like. Sounds great. Uh, of course, all that uh, shopping opportunity and uh, all those fun events, uh, great reason to come to Holland uh, prior to the uh, the holidays themselves and during the holidays. Of course, as, as winter kicks in, we only have about a minute left, but are there other uh, kind of fun things happening as uh, winter arrives? Oh, sure. We've got, you know, great sledding and lots of great trails for cross-country skiing should the snow show show up. We have um, a local civic theater that that does plays, and the chorale and the symphony do concerts, and Hope College will do the Nutcracker Ballet. Lots of special events and activities that go on around, around the community throughout the winter and the holidays. Yeah, so Holland is not just a place to uh, visit during the warm weather months, also a great place to visit during the fall and coming into the winter time, and all those uh, reasons that you just heard about uh, give you an opportunity and uh, an idea to head to Holland. All you have to do is go to holland.org to learn more to do your uh, pre-planning for your next visit to Holland. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy Link, Sales Director of the Holland CBB. And again, for more information, just go to holland.org. You know, the um, the Travel Michigan Summer Guide uh, that uh, we printed a million copies this past year had this beautiful picture of these stand-up borders on uh, Lake Michigan, I think it was, uh, in the Holland mm-hmm. area. It was just a, a beautiful a design. And, and, of course, from after all those spring summer guides were gone, we printed this beautiful uh, guide, 100,000 fall guides yep. with uh, a Saugatuck image on it. Um, I, I haven't actually seen, well, I have seen the winter guide. Cause Chris, we're, yeah, Crystal Mountain. Is it's it Crystal great, Mountain? Great shot from Crystal I, Mountain. I wonder what it was. So the front, uh, the, that cover is going to be of the Crystal Mountain area, which is, of course, one of our great winter locations and, and ski resorts to head out to. Well, that winter travel guide is available right now. So if you're looking for some information and some ideas to travel around Michigan during these winter months that are approaching us, now is the time to order your Michigan travel uh, guide. You can just go to michigan.org. Make sure to just look for that uh, information on the um, uh, right on the page. You'll find it. We'll deliver it to you if you'd like, or you can get into any of the 14 Michigan welcome centers to pick up that guide. Now, I will tell you, the fall guide went a lot faster than I ever anticipated it would. So if you're looking for this winter guide, make sure to pick it up now. Order it now because you're not going to want to put it off. And then, of course, you have a little time to get ready for the uh, the traveling around the state in wintertime. So check that out right now. Also need to mention, we are again having that Pure Michigan Facebook contest uh, where you get to send in your favorite Michigan moment image. So find out more about that. We might use uh, one of your uh, pictures in the spring summer guide this coming year. So look for information on that as well 
at michigan.org. Going to be a, a fun time, and for you aspiring photographers, you have an opportunity to show your skills to lots of people. We're going to find out what's happening with the parade company, the big parade coming to Detroit soon, right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.